Freddy has been Funko's mascot since as early as I can remember. But I wasn't even alive then, so I couldn't tell you exactly. But what I can tell you is that I love his pops. And I have over 60 of them. So today we're gonna be taking a look at my entire collection, starting with the very first Freddy. The way you got it is actually through a mail-in on their website. It's not available anymore, and there were two different numbers that it could have been. The 00 was the original print run, then they also had the 17 one a little bit after, and that's the one I was able to get. It came with some pens, a certificate, as well as stickers, and I actually have all of that still to this day. And I honestly really enjoy the original Freddy. I think it's just like a classic figure. And also, taking a look on the back, this is actually what one of the stickers was, this rocket here with Freddy on top. Now, if you're looking to get a Freddy for yourself, I feel like the easiest way to do it is through the Funko Shop, because that's where most of them go. And here are all of the ones that I have from the Funko Shop in my collection. There is a good amount of them. And now, I do want to point something out right away. You'll notice that most of these are the blue and white sticker, but if it's red and green, it's actually from a Christmas bundle. And there are two of those that I've got here. It would be, let me see if I can find them, this one down here, the 8-Bit Freddy, as well as, I'm looking for, ah, this Gamma Green one over here. So some pretty interesting stuff, and taking a look at them, we have the Cancer Freddy, as well as Birthday Freddy, and then we've got the Gamma Green one again. Skiing Freddy, a different birthday one. We've also got Skateboarding Freddy. Then we've got Yuletide Freddy, as well as Spacesuit Freddy. And I really do enjoy how they made that one a kind of classic look, almost like he's from the 50s or 60s. Then this one down here kind of looks like the original Freddy, but it's a little bit different. His bow tie is a different color, and if you'll notice closely, it actually says FunkoEurope.com because that's where you had to buy it. It was for, I believe, their first or second anniversary, one of the two. Then we've got the 8-Bit Freddy that you guys saw a bit ago, as well as a DIY soccer one. They want you to paint it, maybe put whatever team you want, or you can even make it look like yourself. And then the last two that we've got here are the Franken Freddy, as well as a birthday Freddy. And oh, you know what? It was for the first anniversary anniversary because this one here has a number two on it. It was also for Funko Europe. Then another great place if you're looking for a Freddy Funko is Comic-Con because they have done a good amount of them there and pretty much every single convention they give us at least one. And as you can tell there isn't as many of them that I have in the collection but still a pretty good amount and we've got three different cons that I've got them from Emerald City Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, and San Diego Comic-Con. Starting with SDCC we have the Basketball Freddy and then for NYCC we have the Statue of Liberty Freddy as well as a police officer version. And then for for Emerald City Comic Con, we have the Fish Market Freddy as well as a baseball one. And all of these kind of fit well with wherever they're exclusive to, you know? So definitely some of my favorites to pick up. And actually this one here, little fun fact, the Statue of Liberty Freddy has actually been to the top of the Statue of Liberty. It's in a video that I filmed probably in like 2016, 2017. It's a good watch if you want to go check it out. And now that right there was probably some of the easiest ways to pick up the Freddy Funkos, even though they are still a little bit complicated to grab them. But now I've got an even harder way to get Freddy's and this is probably my biggest collection because I do really enjoy getting these sought after ones. And that's going to Funko events like Fun Days over at San Diego Comic Con as well as Fright Nights in New York Comic Con. And every year they'll do it so you can get a bunch of exclusive Freddies if you attend the event. And if you're not able to make it, you can buy a mystery box of fun off of Funko.com. And so I decided to organize all of these by the year of the party. And we're going to be going from 2018 all the way up to 2022. And so here we are everybody, Fun Days 2018. And this one here, I'm not exactly sure what the theme was. I believe I believe it was something to do with like Stranger Things, almost like an 80s party. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't have any of the Stranger Things ones from this year, but I do have some pretty interesting ones. Like the Pink Chrome Freddy, as well as the Copper Chrome version, as well as the Dumb and Dumber Freddy, Robot Freddy, and the Letterman Jacket. And if I'm not mistaken, this one here is also based off of a character. I'm just not exactly sure which one. And then for 2019, we had Freaky Tiki Fun Days, which is kind of like a Hawaiian party. And there were some really, really great ones that came out of this year. And actually, one that is in my top 10 most expensive figures. So we've got the Golden Freddy Idol over here, as well as Freddy Funko as Merman. Then we've got the Rick Freddy, as well as Joker as Freddy. And we also have Aladdin, well, actually the Genie version of him. And then over here we have Surfer Freddy. Like seriously, some of my favorites in the collection. Then for 2020, they really didn't have any figures because of course the world was kind of shut down. But when it came to 2021, there is a couple that I own. It's not very many, but it's still some great ones. We've got Judo Freddy, as well as this one here is kind of just like a pattern, but I always call it like the bottom of the pool, Freddy. Then I also have
have the metallic HR Puffin stuff, Freddy, which is a really, really cool one in person. And now so far, every single Fun Days figure that I showed you, I didn't personally attend, but the next one in 2022, I did. And so that's why I have way more for this year. And the list of these guys are some amazing ones. We've got Freddy Funko as Thor. We also have the Darth Maul version and Tron. And then for the bottom row here, we've got the masked version as well as player 456. We also have, is that? Yeah, that one's Loki down there. And then this one here, if you attended the event, every single team, because there are four teams in every single fun day, has got a different figure. And for my team, we were able to get the Summer Freddy, a seriously amazing one. It's also Blacklight. And a little fun fact, I believe this is one of my rarest ones in the collection because it's limited to 500 pieces. Then over here, we have the Transformers one, Freddy Funko as Optimus Prime, and this is Astro Freddy, and then Freddy Funko as Macho Man Randy Savage. So like I said, guys, some really, really crazy figures, and I'm so glad I was able to attend this year. Well, not this year. This year is in like the year that these figures released. You know what I mean. Now, last year, I also attended Fright Night 2, which is a party that they had at New York Comic Con and gave it a bunch of spooky Freddies. And I have a lot of them from this event as well. And you guys can see here, they are a little bit more creepy than the ones you would get over at San Diego Comic Con. Starting off here, we have the Fright Night Freddy where he's holding the bag. And it's just kind of like a fun figure in general, almost like he's at the convention. Then we have the Fright Night Freddy 2, which you actually got at the end of the event because the entire show they were building this Freddy. They were taking bits and bobs from pretty much anything that you could think of and they threw it all together to make this here. We also have the creature from the Black Lagoon, Hannibal Lecter, Nosferatu, and a zombie. And I think out of all of these ones here, the creature from the Black Lagoon one has to be my favorite. I just love this thing. Now that's it for every single party, but I still have a couple other that I want to show you, like the ones you can only pick up over at the Funko headquarters. The Funko HQ is actually over in Everett, Washington, and when you go, you can actually find some of these characters scattered scattered around the place. So for example, the Robot Freddy here, they actually have them building Funko Pops in the front of the store, which is really cool to see in person. And then these ones over here are for like the Space Needle, which is of course in Seattle, very close by. We also have it in the Seahawks Colors, their local football team. And then Funko also owns the Everett Aqua Sox, or at least they sponsor the field, something big. It's literally called Funko Field now. And so I was able to get this one when we went to the HQ, and it is honestly such a cool figure. It's him in the Aqua Sox, jersey and you can only pick it up about five minutes away from the stadium at the HQ. And now for these next ones here, it's kind of just like a random collection of Freddy's that I honestly didn't know what other category to put them in. And I guess technically the entire video is Freddy Funko, so it doesn't really matter, but I think you guys know what I mean. And anyways, over on the side here, we have the Freddy Funko as TMNT. And I say as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because it's not really one character, it's just like him in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle getup. It's a really cool figure. It was one that you could only get if you did the NFTs, and I didn't do them back then, but what I did was I went online and I think I purchased it for like, ooh, it was a good amount, never mind. But it's worth more than what I paid for it, so I guess that's a plus in my books. But anyways, we also have the Funko Hollywood Freddy. This one is one that you could only pick up if you went to the Hollywood store, and it's really cool because it's him with the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and it says Funko on the front. Now this one here was actually given out free. It is the Thank You Freddy, and it was actually for people who voted on Funko being the toy of the year. It was back in 2017, and I wasn't able to get one, but a viewer of the channel, Steven, was nice enough to send over here. So Steven, if you're watching still, thank you so much. Then we've got the Make-A-Wish Freddy, which is really cool because all of the proceeds from this figure went to Make-A-Wish. Then we've got the Freddy Fun Club, which is actually very similar to the original Freddy Funko that we talked about at the beginning, but this was the updated version, and I don't believe you can get this one still. It was around, like, what is the year on this? Let me check. 2016. So yeah, it was a little bit after the original Freddy, but this one has sold out since then. And I'm kind of hoping that Funko makes another one of those in the future because I believe this one sold out in, like, 2017. It's been a while. And then the last one that we've got over here is very similar to the baseball one, but it's actually one that you got for free if you went to the game. And I thought it was such a cool way to do it, where you actually got Freddy with the Funko Field sticker on the front. Now that right there is every single one of my normal size Freddies, but I also have a few large ones. And here they are. We've actually got three of them. And this one here is the black and white Freddy Funko that was gifted to me by Savage Pops. And Chris, if you're watching, seriously, I cannot thank you enough because he said he didn't want to sell it because it had a couple box things, but honestly, it's not that bad. Then we also have the New York Comic Con one where Freddy's actually a taxi driver inside of a taxi. And then this one here is the physical version of the Funko HQ. It's actually Freddy with bags in the front and I really enjoy this thing because it looks exactly like the Funko HQ does in Everett, Washington. It's a really cool thing to have if you've ever been to the store. Or if you just like really enjoy Funko in general, it's a cool pop. Oh, 
wait, now hold on guys, I almost forgot some. I always forget about this case that I have from Vaulted Vinyl. It holds six figures and it's off in the corner. I should probably put it somewhere better. But anyways, the ones that we've got inside of here are some crazy ones. So I definitely did not want to miss out on them. So it's good that I found it. And the ones that I've got inside of here are the Diggum Freddy Funko, which is another NFT one. Then we also have the Freddy Funko as Big Boy limited to 520 pieces. We also have the Jolly Bee Freddy, which does glow in the dark, as well as the Social Media Freddy that you can only win through giveaways. I was lucky enough to win it because I was the fanatic of the week. Oh, I want to say years ago now. Then we've got the Director Freddy, which is really cool because I entered a contest to go and see the documentary at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. I didn't win, but I was a runner up. And now they were still nice enough to send over the box and they said I could have went to go and see it, but I didn't have like flights to get there. So it was a little tough. So I didn't end up going, but they did however send this over, which was really cool of them. And the last one that we've got here is the Freddy Funko as Surf's Up Batman. Actually, the reason I remembered this box because we did talk about Surf's Up Joker and I was like, I swear I have the other one too. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is all of the Freddy Funkos in my collection. And let me know, do you have any Freddies? And if so, which ones? But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.